Okay, I've got that helicopter, Raj. Eastbound turn from Florence. Eastbound turn from Florence. He should be turning towards us. Okay. Where is he? We're waiting, guys. We're waiting. There we go. I got it. It's a it's a it's a green car. You got it. Booth, we have it. We have it. News Chopper 4. Yes, ma'am. I have no audio. Yes, Nairi, but I think we're the only, I think everybody is south of us. Dave, you're the best. We're the only ones getting this. Let's break this. On Western is going much faster, or of course the posted speed limit is much faster than the pursuit is going on right now. Uh, we're going to get the cross street here in a moment, but it's getting quite a distance away from us. We're taking a really lo long look, and it looks like he's turning back to the west now towards LAX. This has a, been a tactic that he's used before. 84th Street, apparently. There you go. That's right. Seven five is right behind you here, but we're higher at eight hundred. Throw out money. Uh, we heard on the scanner that they said no spike strip. We don't under we don't understand if that means there are no spike strips available, or they're unable to get the spike strips out there, or if the supervisor is saying not to use the spike strip. But we're continuing on eastbound on uh, Imperial that was through Wadsworth. We passed, uh, uh, yeah, we're coming up onto Central right now. And uh, for those. Stop. Yeah, he's continuing on there westbound. Uh, he just turned southbound on Hooper from 93rd Street. He was on, at this intersection just a short time ago, and he's backtracked there. He's, he, as you saw, he came up alongside that vehicle. We don't know why that person opened the, the uh, driver's side door, but uh, he's planning to do He's got cross traffic up ahead, uh, and uh, this may be difficult for him to maneuver around. He's in the center divider right there, and we've got some cars that are turning left. They're seeing those uh, siren, he's seeing those lights, and hearing those sirens and trying to get out of the way as best as they are able there. You can see we've got a bit of a jam up right now. Coming to a stop, talking to some of those uh, motorists on the street, and uh, some people do want to talk to them, but others don't. Okay, here we go. We've got a train now. We've got a train. Whether this individual is going to wait, Dave, we got a train tracks. He got a southbound train. He's going to time this and probably try to go in front of the train. And so that way, officers, oh, goodness, I thought he was going to go right through it. He is basically just went through the, Dave set me off to the left a little. Oh, be careful, Dave, please. So basically, now the train stopped. The train stopped, and now he's having to make a U-turn. So now we're going westbound 92nd Street. That's on 92nd Street, where he went through the crossing guards there for the train. It almost appeared that he was going to try to go in front of the train at one point. Oh, come on, Dave. Now we're going westbound on 92nd toward Compton, where we had a lot of people in this intersection. People getting involved in the middle of the street right here. Right here, approaching that car. It appears right there, he just threw money out of the car. He just threw money out of the car. That's creating a melee here. He just threw money out of the car out of 92nd and Compton. 
92nd in Compton. We just witnessed him throw money out of the car. And yeah, I just keep circling the same area. And again, LAPD. Okay, here we go again with people on the street. But look at the crowd this time. Oh, yeah. And again, LAPD hypersensitive to the crowd that's gathering as a result of this spectacle. Gives him, gives him a high five. That was nothing more than a hand slap. a couple of times already. Now, the development that we're hearing right now is there's a number of civilians that are getting into this pursuit behind the LAPD, and they're going to run a traffic break, keep those people off of this pursuit. So it's been going on long enough that some people have decided to get in their vehicles and try and see this from their own uh, vantage point on the street. Coming through cross traffic right there, he just uh, blew through there. That's northbound on Hooper. Uh, he's coming up on uh, from Hooper, but it looks like uh, some of those people stopped right in this area here. And that is them just on the north side. People out on the street as well, talking to the person, handing out money. Of course, that is uh, apparently the tactic that they're using to try and uh, muddle this pursuit or make it more difficult for the LAPD to try and uh, follow him. But, of course, that's not happening. LAPD has sent over another helicopter as well. They're trying to keep us as wide as possible right now just in case um, they need both of those helicopters uh, should this come to a stop. So a gangle here. Hooper, 92nd, 94th, Bellhaven, that area right there. Uh, again, turning back southbound on Bellhaven uh, from 92nd. LAPD right behind them, as you can see, they're stopping and talking to some of the motorists that are opposite direction here. And we're going to see this uh, intersection again here where he came before and uh, stopped. We've got people out in the street, running out in the street right here. Okay. Okay, he's in an alleyway right now, LAPD directly behind an area, and we're going to start getting you here some cross tra or some cross streets here in just a moment. Some more. Okay, we've got uh, it's coming into the uh, public housing. Which Nickerson Gardens. One twelve and some more. This Nickerson Gardens. cars who are trying to be a part of this, trying to get money. This person is throwing money out of the car. Here we go. He has nowhere to go. Traffic is coming up to a stop right now. This car is getting out of his way. Coming up on Imperial Highway. Armored vehicles are coming up. So basically, and basically they are going to, and this car right here, that's an LAPD unit. This is Imperial Highway. We're going eastbound Imperial Highway, eastbound Imperial Highway here from Compton Avenue. LAPD is going to bring this pursuit to an end. It's going to be very soon. They have armored vehicles now. This is something we haven't seen where LAPD is having to use an armored vehicle to end the pursuit. Here we go. I'm looking out to the window. I'm going to show you where the armored vehicle is in proximity. There's that armored vehicle. 
These two cars here, I'm not sure if they're LAPD vehicles. I almost believe they might be. I believe these are LAPD vehicles right here. It looks like they may be trying to pit him. And I believe the maneuver, what they were saying, is they want to pit this vehicle and then have the armor vehicles basically block him in. So we may be watching this pursuit come to an end here. LAPD setting up for a pit maneuver. Eastbound Imperial Highway coming up on almost Alameda here. LAPD is going to try to execute. They're going to try to execute a pit maneuver. Suspect knows something's going down right now, so he starts going faster. Eastbound Imperial Highway will be coming up on Alameda here shortly. LAPD desperately trying to bring this to an end. You see that vehicle right there, that SUV, LAPD SUV, is trying to get up close enough. You have to understand this individual is armed, so LAPD right now doing the best they can. Dave, I'm going to need you to get me to the other side. I'm losing this pursuit because of the freeway. Approaching Alameda now, LAPD, here we go. I believe they're going to try to pit this car if they can. Right there is the point to execute if they can, and they were not able to. Northbound Alameda, Dave, northbound Alameda. News Chopper 4 pilot Dave Childs keeping us on top of this right now. Here we go, LAPD. Look how close he's getting. Look how close he's getting. Now we're starting to see some dangerous speeds here. We're northbound Alameda in South Los Angeles. LAPD attempting to pit this vehicle. Here we go. Look how close he's getting. Here he goes. He's going to try to pit this car. Vehicle traveling on the wrong side of the road. Approaching 108th Street. Northbound Alameda approaching 108th Street. LAPD desperately trying to end this pursuit. Their tactic is to pit this vehicle and have the armored vehicles block him in. Here we go. Through NL MLK. Heavy traffic, heavy traffic. Got some moderate traffic coming up at the next light, according to LAPD. Here we go. There's an attempt right there, an attempt to a pit maneuver. Now we're starting to see high speeds. The suspect knows LAPD is basically trying to stop him. The game is over. Here we go. He's going to try to get into the left of that vehicle right there. Pit that vehicle right there. 103rd, 103rd. Here's another vehicle. Pit him right there. They're holding him. Now they're going to get the uh, hands up, hands up. He's actually, he's actually ending it right now. There's your armored vehicle. LAPD armored vehicle stopping that. Those are SWAT officers right now. Bringing this pursuit to an end here. There's that other LAPD vehicle that did the pit. They got this guy. Fortunately, we do see his hands up. We're going to zoom in because we do see his hands up right now. LAPD officers are basically going to bring this to a peaceful ending. We're going to watch him bring this individual out. They're going to have to bring him out through the passenger door unless if he's crawling out himself. But again, LAPD did a tremendous job. This is Alameda at 103rd where they executed a perfect pit maneuver, got this suspect here to stop, brought him into a complete stop. You have an armored vehicle, a couple of SUVs. You got the LAPD canine right down there below. They're summoning this individual to basically come out with your hands up. He appears to be complying. They've got a canine dog ready to go in and apprehend that suspect if necessary. He's climbing over that SUV right now, slowly making his way towards officers slowly making his way towards officers, appears to be complying, following the commands. Dave, you may have to position me a little better so I can see him. He's on the ground. You see the shot there? He's laying down right now. And fortunately, this pursuit has come to an end at 329 here. LAPD officers doing a great job. They're very cautious. They're apprehending the suspect. Those are SWAT officers apprehending the suspect. This is Alameda at 103rd, where LAPD did a great job bringing this crazy pursuit to an end.
I got you. I got you. We're just moving the helicopter. Sorry for the crazy shot. What's up? Five minutes, Raj. All right. Yes, sir. Let me get that suspect. There's a suspect right there. Keep me nice and easy. Oops, what was that? What did I do? LAPD officers did a great job bringing that to an end. That's right. Yeah, it, it does appear that he knows what's up. It's uh, it's almost as if he, uh, yeah, he knows that uh, this is going to be happening. So he's uh, speeding up and trying to maneuver away from the uh, the vehicle that may pit him. If we pull out just a little bit, you can see that there's going to be two more armored vehicles behind that one. So if one doesn't get it, the other ones will. Uh, maneuvering through, going a little bit more fa uh, faster than he has before, keeping his speed up, keeping a... Uh, uh, see right alongside those vehicles so that the uh, the pursuing vehicle can't get up on his left quarter panel um, through MLK that's north yeah okay very close right there they're looking Uh, it looks as though this is a little bit more than just your average uh, SUV. There it goes, spun it around there. They hit him there, and they've got him pinned right there between some... We're going to try and maneuver up here. Okay, uh, five is going to proceed to the north, and we've got you there, FX. This is the cross street. It's at 103 now. Right off. 103, right. And thanks for your help on this one. And we begin with breaking news here at 4 o'clock Sky 9 over the end of a really wild police pursuit. That driver was handing out money to cheering crowds during this new, uh, nearly two-hour chase. KKL 9's Stu Mandel is live overhead. Stu. 
Well, that's right. Follow that cab, and LAPD surely did, and they brought it to an end, but SWAT had to be called in to bring this to a stop. We're here at 103rd and Alameda, where this pursuit came to an end with a pit maneuver with armored vehicles, but let's go to some tape from earlier on when this pursuit was still on the move. At one point, they were on 92nd Street, and they were approaching the railroad tracks. The railroad tracks came down, the crossing arms came down, the train started coming, that car basically creeped its way in there, and now for some no reason that train comes to a stop basically trying to block that suspect but that suspect just makes his u-turn and then just keeps on going lapd had to keep up that pursuit the next thing we saw this guy was handing out money he was handed he was handing off money to people we saw at one point he actually dropped some cash kids were waiting for them to, to uh, actually for the officers to drive by so they could grab it that shot right there that you just saw that was the guy handing off the money and that if you can see it right there is actually some sort of money who knows maybe a 20 maybe a one we don't know but apparently he was handing off money to these people as he was driving through these neighborhoods here in the watts area then after that we saw crowds lots of crowds they're out there they're cheering him on they're trying to take selfies with him we had kids chasing this pursuit at one point too could have been very dangerous situation but gladly it never got to that point but again lots of people out there lots of interaction there was a lot of social you saw everybody with their phones taking pictures trying to get video and the LAPD kept in this pursuit. Finally, at the end there, there it is. SWAT's called in. They bring in the big guns, the heavily armed vehicle. They tag this car, bring it to a complete stop here in, on Alameda and 103rd Street. That suspect basically just giving up on his own after that, getting out of the car and going into custody. Gladly, this pursuit, armed suspect, lasted for about two hours. Nobody was injured, no major crashes, but a lot of disruption and a lot of activity down here in the South Los Angeles area. Live in Sky 9, I'm Stu Mandel. Back to you guys in the studio. Oh. Okay, I've got that helicopter, Raj. Eastbound turn from Florence. Eastbound turn from Florence. He should be turning towards us. Okay. Where is he? We're waiting, guys. We're waiting. There we go. I got it. It's a it's a it's a green car. You got it. Booth. We have it. We have it. News Chopper Four. Yes, ma'am. I have no audio. Yes, Nairi. But I think we're the only. I think everybody is south of us. Dave, you're the best. We're the only ones getting this. Let's break this. on Western is going much faster, or of course the posted speed limit is much faster than the pursuit is going on right now. Uh, we're gonna get the cross street here in a moment, but it's getting quite a distance away from us. We're taking a really lo long look, and it looks like he's turning back to the west now towards LAX. This has a, been a tactic that he's used before. 84th Street, apparently. There you go, that's right. And uh, seven five is right behind you here, but we're higher at eight hundred. Throwing out money. Uh, we heard on the scanner that they said no spike strip. We don't under we don't understand if that means there are no spike strips available, or they're unable to get the spike strips out there, or if the supervisor is saying not to use the spike strip. But we're continuing on eastbound on uh, Imperial, that was through Wadsworth. We passed, uh, uh, yeah, we're coming up onto Central right now. And uh, for those. do a stop. Uh, 
Yeah, he's continuing on there westbound. Uh, he just turned southbound on Hooper from 93rd Street. He was on, at this intersection just a short time ago, and he's backtracked there. He's, he, as you saw, he came up alongside that vehicle. We don't know why that person opened the, the uh, driver's side door, but uh, he's planning to do. He's got cross traffic up ahead, uh, and uh, this may be difficult for him to maneuver around. He's in the center divider right there, and we've got some cars that are turning left. They're seeing those uh, siren, he's seeing those lights, and hearing those sirens and trying to get out of the way as best as they are able there. You can see we've got a bit of a jam up right now. Coming to a stop, talking to some of those uh, motorists on the street, and uh, some people do want to talk to them, but others don't. Okay, here we go. We've got a train now. We've got a train. Whether this individual is going to wait, Dave, we got a train tracks. He got a southbound train. He's going to time this and probably try to go in front of the train. And so that way, officers, oh, goodness, I thought he was going to go right through it. He is basically just went through the, Dave, set me off to the left a little. Oh, be careful, Dave, please. So basically, now the train stopped. The train stopped, and now he's having to make a U-turn. So now we're going westbound 92nd Street. That's on 92nd Street, where he went through the crossing guards there for the train. It almost appeared that he was going to try to go in front of the train at one point. Ugh, come on, Dave. Now we're going westbound on 92nd toward Compton, where we had a lot of people in this intersection. People getting involved in the middle of the street right here. Right here, approaching that car. It appears right there, he just threw money out of the car. He just threw money out of the car. That's creating a melee here. He just threw money out of the car out of 92nd and Compton. 92nd and Compton, we just witnessed him throw money out of the car. And per yeah, I just keep circling the same area, and again, LAPD okay, hypersensitive. Okay, with people on the street, but look at the crowd this time. Oh, yeah. And again, LAPD hypersensitive to the crowd that's gathering as a result of this spectacle. Gives him, gives him a high five. That was nothing more than a hand slap. A couple of times already. Now, the development that we're hearing right now is there's a number of civilians that are getting into this pursuit behind the LAPD, and they're going to run a traffic break, keep those people off of this pursuit. So it's been going on long enough that some people have decided to get in their vehicles and try and see this from their own uh, vantage point on the street. Coming through cross traffic right there, he just uh, blew through there. That's northbound on Hooper. Uh, he's coming up on uh, from Newt, but it looks like uh, some of those people stopped right in this area here. And that is them just on the north side. People out on the street as well, talking to the person, handing out money. And of course, that is uh, apparently the tactic that they're using to try and uh, muddle this pursuit.